hello lovely people welcome back to my channel i hope you're having a great day and today we're going to talk about the colors so here we are going to talk about the ultimate guide to choose the right color in your wardrobe and how to have a classy and refined wardrobe and how to really have that style that you see on those fashion bloggers fashion designer like movie stars how they how they succeed on having this beautiful style that is coordinating everything and everything goes well together how do they do that that just like when you enter a room everyone's looking at you like wow so if you want to know more about elegant fashion and glamorous content subscribe down below and don't forget to follow me on my Instagram which is Lisa Hardstyle. I am going to give you three tips on how to wear the right colors. I am going to explain to you how to match the colors together and also which color suits you better. Stay until the end of the video because I'm going to give you all the tips that I learn in my fashion course and everything to master the art of the color in fashion. So as you can see I'm wearing colors today and this is orange. This is a very bright color and I wear it with this beautiful scarf around the neck that is also orange that have a, also an orange tone and this is so classy and so Hollywood glamour style I love it so let's start by the complementary colors so this is something that I talked on my video on how to be classy in the winter and this is something really important to understand if you really want to have that style and really coordinating your outfit really well it's about the complementary colors. And a lot of you ask for this video, so let's start it. So if we talk about the complementary colors, we have to talk about the chromatic circle. So the chromatic circle is the circle of the colors, of every single colors that the artist use to have a palette of multiple colors. So the chromatic circle can have six color can have 12 colors can have like multiple colors it can be really big with really different tone of colors like you can take a color for example you can take green and have different type of green there's different tone of green can be infinite if you mix green with black you're gonna have a darker green so if you mix green and like other colors and if you mix green with a little bit of blue you're gonna have cyan which is or turquoise which is other type of colors and you have so many different colors so the chromatic circle is really your best friend because it helps you knowing which colors goes well with which colors you have a color the color on the other side is the complementary color that means that they complement each other that means that they go well together for example purple and yellow are complementary colors they go well together and actually in the chromatic circle these colors are the two colors that have the most contrast because yellow is the lightest color and purple is the darkest color besides white and black also you have orange and blue that goes well together because they're in front of each other on the chromatic circle so each each color that are in front of each other in the chromatic circle goes together if you so if you ever wonder because certain chromatic circle are not the same as others so if you ever wonder what is the complementary color of a color the complementary color it is the primary color so it can be blue it can be red it can be yellow that is not fine in the mixture of the color for example you have the color purple which is made of red and blue so in the primary color you have red you have blue and you have yellow so the color that is missing is yellow so you have blue and red that are together that make the purple and the purple is missing one of the primary color which is yellow so yellow complements purple so the yellow complements purple because yellow is missing in the mixing of purple if you understand what I mean <laughs> so they are complementary because one makes up for the lack of the other for example you have green which is made of blue and yellow the complementary color that is missing is red so red is the complementary color of green yes <laughs> you have orange what I'm wearing which is made of red and yellow the complementary color that is missing is blue so 
orange is the complementary color of blue. So it works with all the nuances of the primary colors. So you can have a very, very heavy, very big chromatic circle that have all the nuances of the primary colors. So if you have an orange that is lighter or a green that is lighter, it is still working. For example, you have this color, which is a mustard. It's not really yellow, it's darker than a yellow. So this color is also going to be complementary with purple because this is a shade of yellow. This is a different shade of yellow. If you're taking different shade, and actually yellow is going very well with dark blue because dark blue is very similar to purple. If you have those examples in your head, you know that red goes well with green. You know that blue goes well with orange. It's going to be easier for you to choose your outfit because then you can take a different shade of yellow, of orange, of green, and it's still working. Then let's talk about the monochrome looks, which is a very, very classy and elegant look. Every classy and elegant lady should know her monochrome looks. Monochromes is just very elegant. As you can see, I have kind of a monochrome look right now because my blouse is orange and actually my scarf is kind of orange and yellow. So you kind of have those different tones that are kind of the same to the orange here. And this is going well together. This is giving you an harmony of color, you know? So for the monochrome look, you can choose two or three colors that are next to each other in the chromatic circle. So you're not taking the opposite color that like with the complementary color before, you're taking the colors that are next to each other that look similar. So we all know the monochrome look in all black, which is really also classy all white but then you can have a monochrome look with different shade of the colors for example monochrome look is still when you have beige you have white and you have for example light pink it can still be a monochrome look because it's different shade that looks similar to each other you can take different tone of one color for example different tone of pink different tone of green you can have an entire look in white with some beige and cream it is very very beautiful and very classy when you have only one color it gives an harmony in the look you know it gives like everything goes well together it is very very elegant you can even put a neutral in your monochrome outfit so for example you're all red your your jacket your pants your shoes everything is red except of your top that is white it is going to be also very classy so the complementary colors and the monochrome look is so essential to know because then you're never going to be what can i wear what can i wear i have nothing to wear what can i wear with this what can i wear with that and then you can create some amazing look that are very very original and that are not like everyone else and you're going to be the fashionista you know which color goes with which color and the other day you can mix some green and some red and the other day you can mix some blue and some gold and some yellow and some purple you know you can have fun with this and really you can never go wrong with putting neutral in your looks neutral is white beige black gray um, everything that is not very colorful you know neutral neutral is it's calling neutral for a reason it's because you don't have a lot of color in this it's because those colors are not very popping like my shirt right now is popping because it's an orange so it's like whoa it's aggressive but when you have white when you have black it's blending so those colors can really blend into an outfit that is just very popping so you can never go wrong with neutral but now now that you know more about the complementary colors you can never go wrong with colors too so don't be afraid to wear colors this is really fun and finally we can talk about what is your color your color specifically yeah i'm talking about you what are the colors that suits you the best what are the colors that make you pop when you wear it people are gonna like wow you look awesome not the outfit you because you want you to stand out not the outfit so i am going to talk about seasoned colors 
So the season color analysis is really fun. It's really fun. And you can even make it in your house right now. With me, you can make this analysis and discover which season you are. So this analysis on which color suits you the best. So it's from a book and I'm going to link the book below because this is a really good book. So they created different categories of people that have different color that suits them and they put them into categories that they called each season. So they call people winter, summer, autumn and spring. You have four season, four categories. So it's based on the skin tone, on the color of your hair, on the color of your eyes. So you can analyze in which category you are with me so you, we can go do this together. So first of all, we have to determine which color is your skin tone, which kind of skin tone do you have? So your skin tone is either warm or cool. It's either pink or yellow. Multiple way of knowing that. For example, you have to look at your veins and if your vein look a little bit green, it's because you have a yellow undertone. If, if it looks more blue, it's because you have a pink undertone. Or if you don't really know, because really when they say that, I really don't know because it seems like green or either blue it depends on the light seriously i i don't really know so if you don't really know you can take your foundation you take your foundation you take two different foundation one that is pink undertone one that is yellow undertone and you put it in your face like here and you put a little bit of them on, on your cheeks like here and you look at which one goes well with your face so for example me a mid yellow undertone and also a trick that is really gonna immediately say if you have a pink or a yellow undertone is if you put gold and silver next to you so for example you can take an outfit you can take a dress or you can take anything that is going to be yellow and anything that is going to be silver next to your face and you're gonna see which one suits you the best and it is automatic really you know which one suits you the best which one is like giving you this glowy wow you know for me personally it's gold <laughs> my entire room is gold it's for a reason i love gold because it suits me the best seriously yes gold is my color so for example because i have a yellow undertone gold gold suits me very well that's why i should wear gold jewelry exactly like silver is going to suit very well a pink undertone it's going to give you that glow that wow you know you immediately know once you figured if you're a pink or yellow undertone you're going to know immediately which category you are already so for example if you're a yellow undertone if you're warm undertone you're going to be either autumn or spring so they put two those two categories in the warm and yellow undertone if you are a pink and cool undertone you're going to be either winter or summer so going the other way once you figure this out you have two different categories that you can be you can be autumn and spring or you can be winter and summer so now you have to figure it out which one you are and so now you have to look at your hair and your eye color so for example if you're on the yellow undertone okay you're on the yellow and warm undertone so you're either autumn or spring if you have dark hair, you're autumn. If you have light hair and light eyes, you're spring. So it's really easy. For me, for example, I'm an autumn because I'm a yellow undertone and I have dark hair and dark eyes. So I'm an autumn. That's why when you think of those color and like the color of autumn, it really suits me very well. You have the orange suits me very well, like I'm wearing it right now. The yellow here, so the color of autumn. So the color of autumn that you can see on the trees, um, everywhere. So orange, yellow, brown, really those kind of colors. You have all the pattern of colors. I'm going to show you the palette of color for autumn so for autumn it's really the colors that are very warm and that are very pigmented dark kind of dark you know also red is also very nice for autumn people even green dark green dark blue the darkest color are going to suit 
autumn people really really well and then if you're a yellow undertone you also can be spring so if you have lighter hair you are a spring and so Every color that you can see in spring, like the pastels, the light pink, light yellow, like everything that's light and flowing, flowers and everything, it's going to suit you very well. So every, every color from spring, from the flowers, pink, beige, even red, even, but like a red that is not as deeper as autumn, a red that is a little bit softer, but still warm, a warm red you know so i would suggest to have those kind of palettes of color with you so you can be when you're shopping outside you can be like oh this is my color that suits me very well it doesn't mean that you can't wear the other colors it just means that those colors are very gonna suit you very well to your skin tone to your like your hair and every and everything so for example if you are a pink undertone and you have dark hair your winter so winter people color i don't know how to call this so pe winter people is like you think of the winter you think of the color of the winter ice blue this dark color like dark blue dark purple everything that is going to be in the winter even really really white and black that is going to go well with winter people which are not going that well with autumn and spring people because they are warm warm color you know warm color like orange red and everything but them it's lighter color it's like those blue undertone really blue green you know those kind of color and when you have a cool and pink undertone the blue and the green and everything goes really really well on you and finally if you are a pink undertone and you have lighter hair you are a summer so think about the color of the summer, think about the ocean, think about the beach, think about the flowers, think about like everything like this, which are a lighter color but still in a very cool undertone, so it's still very light, blue oriented and like, even if you have red, you can still wear red, but it's different type of red. And really if you can have the book, it's really interesting, I'm gonna buy it, I think, because I really did a lot of research on the internet, but you don't have everything on the internet, so having the book is really interesting. So yeah, now you know which color suits you the best. and. Tell me in the comments which one you are. Are you winter? Are you autumn? Are you summer? Are you spring? <laughs> tell me in the comments which one you are and, and tell me also which color do you like. What What is your favorite color? I'm, I'm curious. What is your favorite color? Because mine is obviously gold. <laughs> but which one is yours? So then that's it for this video. I hope you really liked it as much as I loved doing it. I love talking about the colors. This is really fun and really important to build a classy and really refined and beautiful wardrobe. So if you have any question, any question, leave it in the comments below or ask me question on my Instagram. Some people do, some people do ask me question on my Instagram. I'm so happy to answer you. So don't hesitate, ask some questions. And don't forget, by the way, to follow me on my Instagram, which is Lisa Hardstyle, and subscribe to the channel. I love having more people with me. <laughs> and also lots more elegant, glamorous, and fancy content. It's fancy here. <laughs> so until next time, I'm giving you a lot of kisses. Mwah. Goodbye.